backstage, uh, we get warmed up. First thing that uh, that we'll do is actually tape our hands. That's where I get my confidence. It's it's like putting on battle armor for me. As soon as those wraps go on, I'm 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 invincible. But the the battle's already done. You know, the the hard work is in the training or in the gym. And when you go out there to fight, it's fun. That's when you get to go play. It's not it's not something to be scared about. So in the back, we try to keep it lighthearted and and have a good time, but at the same time, you know, we, we do stay focused and we, and we keep our eyes on the prize. A big part of, of what I do is my amateur fight team and my, my students. Um, I've been training them, uh, some of them, for up to three years, four years, and, and as I train them, they're not just, you know, friends and, and people that come to my classes. They're like, they're like my, my family, my children, and as they progress, uh, you know, a little piece of me, I, I get, I'm like a proud papa when I see them throwing combos and putting things together, you know, um, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Everything from the nutrition, the wrestling, the jiu-jitsu, the striking, it's all gonna take into play. And if I train hard and, and I give 100% from day one till, till weigh-ins, you know that the, the outcome's gonna handle itself. Good work. time there's always someone that comes back bloody and beat up and you have to tell yourself you know shit what, I mean, what am I doing you know and but at the same time it's it's what we do it's what we're made for time you're on deck it's it's time to walk out you you gather your your training partners your family you know the buckets the, the Vaseline the knot knockers the ice um, you know, I put on my furry vest. It's, it's, it's again, it's my armor. My grandma made it for me. It's kind of like a good luck charm. Um, we walk out and, and you know, we talk about the nerves or whatever. And it's one of those things where it's time to put on a show. And no matter how scared you are, you know, you take those butterflies and you make sure they're flying in formation. You make you make that nervous energy work for you. Um, walking out down that that runway, you see all the fans and and they're there to see you. There's there's no other high like it. Um, I, I, I make my lap around the cage. I usually do two laps just, just to get, get a, acquainted with, it, with my surroundings. Um, then when I'm looking across the cage, I, I look through my opponent. You know, I look for that, that little second where, where I see fear in his eye and I'm gonna feed off of it. Um, you knuckle up, you touch gloves, and, and, it, and it's, it's time to go. My favorite part is, is being in the cage and they announce you, you know, Brandon Ruckus Stash from Denver, Colorado, representing Grudge Training Center. And, and and it blows up. There's it's it's amazing feeling.